Hello friends, welcome to IntelliGear and this review of the ATAC Storm 511 Tactical Boot. Now I haven't had a chance to wear these as you can see they still have the tag on them so this is just an initial impression review and um, let's get right into it. So when I saw these at the store <clears throat> and tried them on I was very impressed. Every boot I've owned up until this point there's been pressure points and I've had to break them in for them to be comfortable to wear. These are comfortable to wear right out of the box. That's one of the things that they advertised um, for this particular boot. And I'm a believer, that's why I bought a pair. Um, back when I was younger, growing up and everything, you know, my folks would tell me, you have to stretch your shoes out and break them in. Um, I found that to not be true. As an adult, buying dress shoes and things, um, I suffered for many years believing that you had to stretch your shoes out until I found that there are shoe companies out there that make a shoe that does not need to be broken in and is comfortable right out of the box. Well, now I found a boot that is the same way. So that's um, the main reason I brought them home. But let's get right into it here. Um, it's called ATAC and that's an acronym. It's supposed to mean all terrain, all condition. And these are the ATAC Storm, and the Storm denotes that these are uh, the waterproof version. It has a waterproof uh, breathable liner, and it's you know similar to Gore-Tex. They call this stuff Drylex. And the thing with the Drylex is it has some material woven into um, the liner that inhibits antibacterial, or it, it inhibits bacterial growth, so it has antibacterial properties. Um, and it is moisture wicking just like uh, Gore-Tex so it's going to allow moisture from your feet perspiring out, perspiration out but not let water in. And they say it's uh, also bloodborne pathogen resistant. Hopefully I'll never have to um, get any blood on my boots but you know you never know you might have to Chuck Norris somebody. So uh, yeah it's going to protect you there according to uh, the boot manufacturer at any rate. Um, it has a shock mitigation system, so there's different layers and levels of cushioning for the ball of the foot and for the, uh, the heel and the arch. It's not just one piece of foam down in there, it's actually engineered to be more comfortable and to give a little spring in your step according to their website. Um, something else that's um, interesting about this boot is the shank is non-metallic. Now for those of you who are not familiar about what a shank is, it's just a, a ridge that runs down the, the middle of the boot and it gives you support, especially on your arch for things like when you're climbing ladders and things like that. So the shank in this is non-metallic and the reason I bring that up is I've had boots in the past, um, in particular the Magnums, high tech, uh, they're made by someone else now or who knows, I, I quit buying them because they changed the design. and. Um, eventually just they became uncomfortable and they look like friggin moon boots on top of it so I quit buying the Magnum line but anyways they had metallic shanks in theirs and I really wear my boots till I have to go get more you know I get my money's worth out of my boots and typically it will uh, a boot will last me at work about a year and it's time to get them replaced so wearing them, you know, every day, sometimes six days a week, 80 hours a week working. And um, the shank inside my boot rusted and I was walking and it broke in two and jabbed me in my foot. Luckily it didn't break my skin or I'd be going to the hospital to get some tetanus shots with the rusty steel shank. So that was kind of long winded, but I think that's a good thing having the, uh, the synthetic shank in here instead of a a metal one and probably cuts down on the weight significantly also. So um, um, let's see while we're looking at the sole let me bring this back up here. It's an oil resistant and slip resistant sole. They also say on the website that these soles are designed to make as least noise as possible so if you need to ninja up on somebody and snatch them you know you're not going to be squeaking when you're walking making a bunch of noise so that's a good thing too. And then um, it has a uh, 
a re reinforcement. It's not steel toe, but it has a reinforcement in the toe and a reinforcement in the heel. And you can see here, um, I couldn't get any information on what type of material this is here. It seems to be some kind of synthetic material and I like the uh, carbon fiber design. Kind of looks like a carbon fiber. That's pretty neat. And uh, what else? What else am I missing here? Um, 1200 denier nylon and a full leather, uh, full grain leather. So you can put a nice shine on those. And um, let's see, we talked about the quiet insole and oh yeah. And these are the, uh, the speed zippers. So you lace them up once and then you got the zippers here. And it's a, a YKK zipper. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on the camera. And then this little guy here, it's nice to have too. You just have a little Velcro to keep your zipper from making noise and jingling around and keep it in place. So that's a nice positive thing. And then um, the, the other thing is, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little pocket here. So you can put a knife or an uh, extra handcuff key or something down in there um, on the boot. And there's one on each side. So I thought that was that was pretty cool too. But anyways, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd kind of do a initial impression of it. Hey, Gunny Dog, what do you what do you think about those boots? You like those boots? Yeah. So that's uh, all I have to say on that. And um, sorry, it's been a while since I put out a video. I've been busy. You know, I have a life and stuff too. So I've got some more videos coming up though. And I appreciate you watching and subscribing and commenting. And don't forget, you can follow me on uh, Twitter now. Just click the little Twitter thing. So it'll send, send you videos to your, if you, if you tweet, then uh, you know how that works. But anyways, I didn't know anything about it. A friend of mine told me how to do the, the Twitter thing. So now when I upload videos, they show up there too. So just another way to keep track of my videos when I, when I get them put out there. And uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching again. And until next time, friends, be well.